Hello YouTube, it is me the Drip Kage here with another video and in today's video we're doing what if Naruto was still reincarnate. So let's get into it. Hey yo, this is part two. What if Naruto stores reincarnate? So let's get into it. So I believe we left off with what? The one month time skip. Or the one month of training. So one day when Naruto was walking throughout the village, the Hokage would appear with front of him. Naruto would ask the Hokage what is it what is it that he needs. He usually would ask Naruto to come to him to his office that there's someone here who wants to train him. And Naruto would be very, you know, shocked that someone, like, actually someone really wants to train him. So Naruto would follow Hiroz into his office where he would see one familiar person and then, well, two familiar people and one with long white hair. So Naruto would say, was she brow sensei? Kakashi sensei, what are you, what are you guys doing here? <clears throat> As Kakashi says, Naruto. I've come to tell you that I won't be able to train you for the tuning exams. But two people have wanted, wants to train you. So I decided to why not allow you to be trained by them. As Naruto will say, um, okay. Who wants to train me? As Jiraiya and my guy will both walk up. Because my guy will tell Naruto that he's probably, um, that he's extremely strong. But his Taijutsu could use work. That his strength is probably on par with, was probably far surpassing that of his. As my guy previously, has just a couple days ago, when um, Naruto fell asleep training himself, or was experienced using his powers actually, my guy has seen Naruto and saw Naruto put down his axe. To which my guy went and tried to pick it up and could not lift it at all. Well, Naruto is legit a god, so technically, yeah. So, you know, he was extremely shocked by the fact is that Naruto can lift it, and he can lift it pretty easily, and seems to be like with no, how do he, how does he say this, with no harm, and he even tried to pick up Milner, just thinking that Milner wasn't as heavy, but he was even harder to pick that one up. As um. Dry would then walk up to the kid saying, Hey, I'm, I'm your godfather, and I wanted to train you for the Chunin Sims. As um, Hiruzen, Kakashi, and Guy see Naruto and Jiraiya both all see Naruto walk behind my guy, I mean behind Jiraiya. As Naruto grabs Jiraiya's face, but well, the back of his head. As they all hear something crashing, as they say, Oh my god, he's gonna kill Jiraiya. Jiraiya says, How's he gonna kill me? So, Jutsu, I say, Jiraiya, you might wanna get out of his grasp around now. Naruto says, Don't worry. If he tries to, it'll just follow him until it hits him. Huh? You're telling me it's, it's like, yes, it's tra it tracks him. So, answer this question before it gets here. Why weren't you here when I was younger, if you were my godfather? Tell me this now. Because, damn it, you weren't supposed to know this, but the council had ordered me to stay away from you. But um, as a civil, as a civilian, you, I was ordered to stay away from you. But by the time you had graduated, I was too immersed in my spy network until recently. This is why I'm here now. Naruto says good answer. As Naruto throws Jiraiya to the side, as Jiraiya sees something break into Hiruzen's office, as Jiraiya sees that it's a giant freaking axe, well, like a hammer axe thing. One side is like an axe part, and the other is a hammer, like a side of a hammer or something. Jiraiya says he was going to. As Hiruzen says, yes, yeah, Jiraiya. Hey, that was extremely dangerous. You could have killed me. 
And I just said, well, if you wasn't going to give me a, re- a good enough answer, I probably would have. The dry appeals at this. It's not so serious, but it doesn't matter. What are you two going to train me in? Tribal tell Naruto that he's going to teach him the technique that he taught the fourth Okage. The summoning jutsu. It's my guy would just say that he's just going to help Naruto refine his taijutsu. I'm just saying that his taijutsu may be clumsy, but it's best suited to his body. It's my guy wanted that because he knows that um because Kakashi from what Kakashi told him in the teacher's lounge Naruto's Taijutsu was terrible due to the fact that the academy instructors you know well basically getting in Naruto's way by instructing him wrong so my guy will say suited to your body this Naruto would tell them all to sit down as he has an explanation for them so one explanation later Hiruzen will be shocked Naruto is a reincarnation of basically a god, the, a god comparable to that of Rising, the god of, I believe Rising is the god of thunder, in, um, or the lightning, god of lightning in, um, Japanese, yeah, I hope I'm not wrong, I know he's one of those gods, and they think, so, you're basically the reincarnation of Rising, as Naruto says, no, Thor, the Norse god of thunder. And, um, and you're saying that he comes from a, yes, a different universe where, um, hmm, how should I say this? Where he's a superhero where people don't use chakra and things like that. And he's basically of a race called Asgardians, which are all, which the warrior people are sometimes mostly um, gods of certain things. Like his brother, Loki, the god of mischief. Now, the mentioning Loki, they will all see that Naruto's, um, Naruto begins to cry. Wondering what's happening. Zora so says, "Well, that's pretty interesting." And he says, "Yeah, it really is." As Jiraiya will say, "Well, kid, that's a pretty interesting thing." So, what does that have to do with your taijutsu being suited to your body? Not just says, "Right." Well, Thor's fighting style is what he's came up with for this body, and it's been instilled into my mind and my muscles everything to that of this body only thing I could truly do is just increase the speed of how I do everything as um, you know my guy uh, perks his head up after this he says Naruto what's the heaviest thing you've ever lifted or Thor has ever lifted this Naruto says well he well as I know he did take the blast of a neutron star causing everyone's jaws to drop Thor had taken the blast of a star. Knowing that the sun is a star, imagine that being, you know, of a dying star. They're, they're, let's be honest, they're very shocked by this. As my guy says, um, Master Jiraiya, Jiraiya says, yes, um, I'm gonna need you to make a seal for me. Jiraiya says, I think I will. As Jiraiya and guy says, well, Naruto, come on so that we can train you in this. Naruto says, but how will I train with you two? Jirai says, the Shadow Clones you two. Naruto does one thing. He hasn't made the... I don't think I've had him do it. But Naruto hasn't made a Shadow Clone since he's undergone the transformation into Thor. So, after this, um, basically, Naruto will ask, on their way to the training ground, Naruto will ask, what about the Shadow Clone Jutsu? How would that help them? As Rai will then explain the use of the Shadow Clones and its gains and, well, his pros and cons of using it. And I said, huh. Well, then why wasn't I never told about that? The Hokage said that you learned it from the Scroll of Healing. Did you not read the entire thing about it? Um, no. I just learned how to do it. See, that's why people, that's why it's forbidden. People like you, Naruto. Naruto says, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Never mind. Let's just go. So, get it to the later that day. They will start their training with Naruto using at least 50 Shadow Clones to learn the summoning Jutsu along with water walking with Jiraiya. And yes, the same thing did happen with the seal. Since the seal was still on there, but you know, Naruto being a guy, didn't really notice it.
Now, how Naruto was able to make 50 Shadow Clones wasn't actually on purpose. He was actually supposed to make five, but he made 50. His controller's out of whack, so, you know. Anyways, moving on. Jiraiya um, was extremely happy by Naruto's progress. Naruto had already gotten to walk, far to walking down, and it's probably has not mastered it, but it's gotten into a joining level of water walking due to the fact that his shadow, most of his shadow clones working with all of his shadow clones are working with Jiraiya. Well, Jiraiya has a shadow clone work on a seal that um, that increases the um, well, not the gravity because I'm pretty sure Thor will be able to handle that. It will um, increase a seal that is constantly going up in weight until the users. Until the body can no longer handle it. And this is how they tell someone that, um, well, until the body begins to feel strained. And then it goes up and weight some more. So this is the way that they're going to train Naruto. Now, from what I could tell, Thor can lift the total amount of, well, well over a hundred, well over 300 tons. So it will go up to, I'm going to say a good, it says vaguely over 300 tons from my research that I've done. On this character, like yeah, I know Thor, but feet strengths we haven't really gotten into that many of the, his feats as in of all in the Marvel movies. So yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> um, when Jirai will check, you'll be shocked to see that Naruto was you know legit lifting over a hundred tons, well three hundred tons, which is what six hundred thousand pounds. So imagine his shock along with my guy. This guy thinking that he could never get to Naruto's level. Ever when it comes to lifting weights. That he's probably at around a thousand and um a thousand pounds on his weights. But six hundred thousand tons? I mean thousand pounds? No. I said a thousand tons was gonna like I didn't I hope I didn't. Anyways, Jiraiya the next day after um, having Naruto get used to the new weight, which went up to a good, which went up even more. So Naruto's currently lifting a good 400, ton, 400 tons, which is 800,000 weight, um, 1,000 weights, damn, 1,000 pounds worth of weight on his body, which is giving him some strain. Jiraiya um, has dismissed Naruto, the original Naruto, well, um, well, in the clones, since none of them will basically be experiencing the weight that Naruto was experiencing. Because if the, the seal was on the Shadow Clones, then the Shadow Clones will immediately disperse. Yeah, anyways, moving on. Naruto, well, basically, how do I say this? Um, yeah. Jiraiya would get Naruto started on the Shadow Clone, not the Shadow Clone Jutsu, on the Summoning Jutsu. And my guy would get Naruto started on his Taijutsu. And this is where we get into that time skip to the end of this one month training period. Naruto is, like, look, Naruto, with him being Thor now, it's just made Naruto exponentially time, a lot stronger, basically. Um, like, uh, um, and things like that. So I was just wondering. That it's really nothing. That, his learning curve might be a little bit higher. Just a little bit. And he might get their things done a little bit faster. So yeah. There's really no not that much of it changes. So yeah. Anyways. Naruto will be sitting in the sky. His Jiraiya sees Naruto floating a little bit above him. Is there on the outskirts of Konoha. As Naruto says, so, um, you know, what do you think I should do as an entrance? Well, we've all seen you create massive lightning bolts. So what I'm thinking, kid, is that, um, is that you do a, a the most biggest and longest lasting lightning bolt. So that one of the toads with us on top of it can jump down, which blinds the, the people sl sl only... You know, not too much. It's slightly blind. It blinds them for a little bit, and when the light dissipates, it sh the lightning disappears and everything. It shows me and you on top of the toad. I just says that's a good idea. Naruto and Jiraiya will bump this. Naruto says I like you, kid. Naruto says yeah, I guess. 
as a, um, um, a clone of Naruto dispels, as Naruto says, they've called my name. So let's go. As a gigantic lightning bolt will strike down in the middle of the arena, but it, it's continuously striking down, blinding everyone, even the cages, who try to reduce chakra to their or, or yeah, reduce chakra to their eyes to allow them to see. But it still was very bright. And when it dissipated, everyone saw a gigantic toe with Naruto and Jiraiya on top, with Naruto c carrying. Uh, with Naruto, well, just in a cape, in his store out outfit, actually. I don't want him to have Milner, because I don't know if the effective weight would affect the toes or not, so. The weight of it would affect the toes or not, so, yeah, not yet. Anyways. Um, Naruto would jump down, as the toe would then disappear. As Jirai um, disappears on Assumption, after saying, good luck, kid. As Gimma says, are you ready? As Naruto nods, I don't know if I said, I believe I said Naruto was facing Neji, if I'm not mistaken. So, <clears throat> anyways, Neji would say, just because you've made a flashy entrance doesn't mean that fate has changed for you. It is your fate to lose to me. Naruto says, alright. As Naruto begins to stretch and crack his arm um, knuckles and everything. Crack, his, crack some bones. Naruto says, this will be a good warm-up for when I fight Sasuke or Gaara. Those are probably the only two that... Mm, nah, it might not... They, has a, they have a better chance at you of defeating me. Which is actually none. They have no chance of defeating me to begin with. But, we'll see. As Neji runs at Naruto, hits him with a palm strike directly in his heart since he saw an opening to get rid of Naruto. As Neji looks up to see Naruto just staring at him blankly. As Naruto begins to move on, as he then says, Oh no! Ouch! As Naruto falls to the ground. Oh, he's killing me. He's killing me. Oh no. Help. Huh. So the entire crowd is shocked. Naruto is hit with the Juke strike to the heart. Even Orochimaru and the Hokage is, you know, Shocked by this, a juke strike to the heart would probably is probably like an immediate death for everyone else, for anyone actually, unless they can get unless they can get out of it with a substitution or something, which is most likely never. But for Naruto to just survive this and play it off like that, that must mean Naruto's endurance, I mean, or durability is extremely high, which it is. Naruto says, "All right, now my turn." As Naruto will punch Neji, as um, this sends Neji up into the sky. As Naruto's, everyone will see lightning begin to spark off Naruto. As Naruto holds his hands up. As lightning begins to cackle off of them, as a lightning bolt strikes down Neji. As Neji is sent down to the ground, basically losing. Um, what do I want him to lose? Like, he lost a toe. He lost his middle toe. I don't know which one that is, but it's a middle toe. Yeah, I like that. He lost one of his middle toes on his right foot. It's basically just been separated, actually, to be honest. Now, Neji's in extreme pain. pain. That's in pain. Extreme pain. He just lost a toe. Who wouldn't be in pain? So, um, Gibbon will come down there and would declare Naruto the winner. That was, that was pretty easy. As, as Tenta just says, did he just defeat Neji? So fast. As Hiyashi says, hmm, that boy interests me. Neji, Neji is a prodigy when it comes to the Juken. And for him to take a Juken strike to the, um, to the heart and play it off like that. And then separate his toe with lightning. That he seems to have no chakra to have used no chakra to call upon. The boy interests me. Tanabe says, "Father, how is how is that possible?" And see how she says, "Neji just probably just chewed off more than what he could um, handle." I don't know how that saying goes, to be honest. <clears throat> so, um, this is when Naruto will walk up. Naruto will enter the contestants' booth. 
as Shikamaru says, dude, you made him lose a toe. Nancy says, yeah. Well, let's get into the rest of the matches. As everyone will be looking at Naruto dumbly. He just made someone lose a toe and isn't phased by it. Like, just what is Naruto? As God tells Naruto that he is the strongest and that he will prove his existence by killing Naruto. As Naruto will say, um, okay, I guess. As Naruto would, well then... Naruto will then go on and watch the rest of the matches, which all go straight towards Kenton, the way they're doing Kenton. So yes, that means Sasuke's match was pushed back, and so was, uh, man, that means Konkuro did give up, and Tamari fought Shikamaru, and, you know, that happened. <clears throat> so let's get into the Sasuke versus um, Gara fight. Now, this is a very interesting fight. Fat as he fight. I didn't say it right, but this is a very interesting fight. Now, when um the match started, not in uh, well when you know, after the Sasuke Kakashi appeared, their interest was nothing compared to Naruto, so no one was really that excited about it. Just Kakashi, you know, was a little bit bummed out about because he thought this was pretty cool. But anyways, when it started, um it was actually a pretty um. Pretty devastating match for Gara, to be honest, when it first started. Until Gara then began to get used to Sasuke's speed. And when he grabbed Sasuke, um, Sasuke was forced to try to break out of it by using the substitution jutsu. And Sasuke charged up his Shidori to run at Gara and hit him. This would actually pierce one of Gara's lungs, causing Gara to go into immediate pain, but Gara would still pass out due to that pain, causing Shukaku to form right then and there. And now the Proctor will call the match immediately after this, calling Sasuke Uchiha the loser, because there was no way. But Shikaku begins to go on a rampage. This is when everyone will see that a thunderstorm is beginning to take place. As Orochimaru start, gives a signal for the evasion to start. As everyone in the contestants booth began to see Naruto radiate lightning, and Naruto's eyes begin to go blue as he holds out his hand. As everyone hears it, something is cutting through the wind, giving off lightning. As everyone sees lightning is striking an object that's coming towards them. The people that are still awake. As this object then pierces through the barrier and comes out of it. But the barrier instantly repairs itself so no one can get in. That the hope that he, um, Orochimaru had put up. As, as Naruto will close his hands, as the axe is in his hands now. Naruto would then um, jump up towards Shukaku, and we've all seen throw, not throw, we all seen Thor throw Mil um not Milner Stormbreaker, at the um at Thanos during the Infinity Gauntlet. So um well dang god during the Infinity War when he shut the beam from the Infinity Gauntlet. So imagine that so Naruto cuts clean through Shukaku. As Naruto um does that as he then begins to jump up above Shukaku as a, something else would appear in um, well would zoom past Naruto they see Naruto grab a hand something a hand and then begins to fly away as Naruto begins to fly into the sky shocking all those including sand and sound shinobis as Naruto lifts the hammer up as a gigantic lightning bolt strikes it as the hammer begins to glow blue as Naruto then drops down, as when the hammer hits Shukaku, who has, who has already fully performed, also with Gara on top of him, it would jolt Gara all the way away, but also incapacitate him at the same time. But this will be enough to shock Shukaku back into the cage and, well, effectively knock him out for now. Knock even Shukaku out for now. Our sound is sound, sound. Sand and sound are both extremely surprised at the fact that um, a mere getting as they f and someone who was extremely weak like a couple like a month before a month and a week before just defeated the one tail beast and it looked like it didn't even take him that much effort he did it effortlessly 
Now, those who are still awake, which are some of the judges, will decide that Nato's not being promoted to Chunin, but to Jonin. Because they just watched right in front of their eyes Naruto defeat the One Tails. And it's like effortlessly. So, anyways, Naruto will begin to um, call forth um, Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker comes into Naruto's hands as Sao and San Shinobi surround Naruto. And for the next couple of hours, Naruto is battling San Shinobi, different San and San Shinobis, like every uh, couple minutes, who come constantly comments around Naruto. And this is around, let's say, a good 300 Shinobi that Naruto is fighting. And Naruto has defeated every single one of them with the help of his hammers and everything. And this is when we come to the conclusion of the end of Korma Crush. Now, at the end, Naruto will finally be done with all the San and Shinobi, uh, the San and San Shinobi who are attacking him. Naruto will go up towards the barrier where he will see he he will see something behind Hiruzen. This being the Shinigami. As Naruto, um, the Shinigami notices that since there's another presence of godlike origins right um right outside of this barrier, she looks directly at Naruto. She says, "You." The Shinigami would then say, Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. Naruto's eyes are wide. Did he, did he say Namikaze? It, uh, never mind. As Naruto uses Stormbreaker and cuts directly through the barrier. Now, here's the scene is would pull out Orochimaru's arms a little bit faster. But Naruto would help Hiruzen by cutting, but since the fact of Orochimaru helping, Naruto would lend Hiruzen some more chakra, along with asking the Shinigami to help Hiruzen take his entire soul. And the Shinigami would ask, what is it that he would want, what is it that he will get in return? As Naruto would say, when he truly dies, that he'll go with the Shinigami. The Shinigami would tell Naruto that he'll accept this, but under one condition, but well, with one term. And if his life is not as meaningless, then he will take Naruto's soul and devour it, but will torture him himself. But if it's not, Naruto will be able to go to the Pure Land, or basically to the afterlife, with his family. But Naruto will nod, and the Shinigami will help Hiruzen take the entirety of Orochimaru's sword, I mean sword, soul. This will cause Orochimaru to, well, his that body of Orochimaru to die. So the sound people should know be there would run away after dropping the barrier, seeing that Orochimaru is now dead, it's along with Kabuto, with him um, leaving now. With Kabuto knowing that he needs to hear, he has like a couple weeks before Orochimaru's soul is completely gone, and he needs to prepare a body for Orochimaru's soul to take over. And he knows just which one exactly he needs to take. So, Naruto um, would catch Hiruzen as Hiruzen begins to fall down. Hiruzen says, Guess you know now, huh? Naruto asks Hiruzen, Why did he never tell him that his father was the fourth Okage? Because Naruto begins to think that it makes sense now. That he's heard one person compare him to the fourth Okage once and thought about it. So he went and learned. This is how the Futokage became his hero, because he looked just like him. But here's him would tell Naruto that it wasn't that he didn't want to tell Naruto; it's that he couldn't. That if Naruto had been told, and he would have told the wrong people, that other nations would have sent assassins after Naruto to kill him, even as a child, and he would have been defenseless. It would have been nothing he could have done. But Naruto being Thor's reincarnate would understand him wanting to keep, would understand wanting to protect Naruto. So, would, um, would forgive Hiruzen. Hiruzen says, protect Konoha and Konoha Maru. Find my successor. Who? Tsunade. As Hiruzen would pass away from this, and, well, Naruto will begin to cry as multiple lightning bolts begin to strike down all the snake summons in sound shinobi along with sand shinobi that are left well except you know the major ones like Baki, Gara, 
Tamari, Kankaro, people like those. Naruto's misguided anger. As everyone will begin to see, a visage of a lightning god in the sky. As Naruto's chakra begins to burst out of him. Naruto says, Orochimaru, you'll pay for this. I don't know how, but I'll get you. Even if it's in the afterlife, I'll come and get you there. As Naruto begins to yell, as I, the biggest lightning bolt probably to ever, I mean, ever exist in time and space, has just struck Konoha. Taking out one fourth of Konoha, but there's luckily everyone's evacuated from that area, so no one was hurt. As Naruto falls to the ground, as Jiraiya jumps up and catches Naruto before he could hit it, she says, Rest easy, kid. You did a good job. And this is where we will be ending off part two of What If Naruto Stores Reincarnate. I hope you guys enjoyed this What If. I'll see you guys later. Me. Out.